What's going on guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be giving a shout out to Okadama. Okadoma. Okadama. Okodama. He has a YouTube channel over on uh, YouTube, obviously. And he has uh, a lot of Oriental content. A lot of content in general. He's mainly s focusing on a Nordic style and Oriental. And uh, he has some pretty good stuff over there. So guys, definitely go check him out. Uh, we're going to be looking through a plot that he has here on Ravend as a um, as a way to sort of just kind of kickstart his building uh, level and trying to give you guys a little idea of what he does. And um, yeah, so anyway, I watched some of his videos. He does a really good job, I think. And uh, he, he definitely has some content that I definitely want you guys to go check out. Um, again, his name's Oak. Okadama. Okadama. Um, his link will be down in the description below. So yeah, go, uh, you know, do him a favor, guys. Go check his channel out. If it's something that you like, go ahead and subscribe to him. It would definitely help him and would give him a, uh, yeah, would make him happy. That's, you know, that's good. It always makes the uh, YouTuber very happy if he all of a sudden sees a spike in his uh, uh, b -b -b subscribers. So let's go ahead and walk through this and kind of get an idea of what he's built, what he, um, you know, what he's done. He's made an oriental plot here, and uh, I think he did a pretty good job. It was pretty good. Um, it's very realistic. That's what he was going for. Um, less of the like depth kind of design and more of the realistic design. So uh, anyway, looks like we got a chicken coop over here. Now he did spam a lot of uh, leaves on the ground. Which is okay, I mean, it looks like bushes, I guess, and he's just trying to make that sort of like jungly environment. And he did a pretty good job, I think. Um, but yeah, the trees could have used a little more air in them and stuff, but um, yeah, other than that, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So let's keep going through the plot and see what's going on. Um, let's go over here. Do, 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 do. And then uh, we got this little entrance. It looks like that this is like some kind of gatehouse of sorts. Like this is where the main gate is. Not a defensible gate, just kind of like an artsy kind of gate just to sort of inconvenience people if there was an attack. And obviously they can just go around the, the wall or whatever. But um, yeah, it's just the main road and there's like a little gate kind of thing over it. So here we have the actual house, and we go in the interior. Now, the one thing that is very interesting is the interiors to these um, houses are very interesting. I don't know how I would fare you um, doing a, uh, what do you call this, a uh, oriental interior. It just It's very interesting. It's very different. It's basically the style of house is just you use the, fl uh, the floors, just half slabs. And then you just add in detail and stuff. So basically, it's you know the style Oriental interior is relatively simple, depending on how you look at it. But as far as I look at it, I just see um, half slabs, and then you just do what you would regu regularly kind of do. Like you don't have like the big furniture things, like the big wall unit like dressers and stuff. But you know, you have the the kids' rooms. You got the paper walls. Now, remember, you can get the uh, paper walls using white glass, white stained glass, and then it's a biome version. And then here we got some swords. We got ourselves a little uh, little pot to cook our food. And it doesn't look like there's any place to eat. I might be mistaken, but uh, I don't know. And this is, looks like a little bit of storage over there, so maybe you just didn't. Um, maybe they just walk around and eat. Um, but other than that, very nice. It looks like we got a temple over here. But what is this? Looks like a little storage shed. Nice. Oriental is a pretty interesting style to tackle. Um, one of these days, I'll have to try to tackle it. But in the meantime, uh, uh, you know, Okadamas definitely has a lot of content on Oriental. So if you guys are interested on that, go check his channel out. Uh, again, he has Nordic and Oriental, so he has some good stuff over there. We'll go up here, check out this. Looks like we got some food up here, bed. So maybe this is like a, I think this, this is supposed to be a temple of sorts. And then the priest would live up there. And uh, may, maybe these are all priests or orphans, I don't know. Um, you guys decide. I don't know how Oriental culture is, so I don't know what they would have up there. And then we go in here, looks like we got a dojo. Yep, I was right, it's a dojo. Um, we got a little white floor where the 
the the kids or whatever would come in and practice their martial arts of sorts, karate, jung sim do, uh, taekwondo, jiu jitsu. Uh, ba ba. What are the other ones? There's so many different names to martial arts, but anyway, yeah, you guys get the you guys get the picture. So this is a dojo, and then the dojo master would sit over here, kneel, and pray to the candle or the paper. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is the dojo, and that's pretty interesting. So we got a dojo, we got a temple, and we got a house. So um, you can just kind of imagine a small kind of environment in here. It's just kind of like uh, like this would be like someone kind of rich, and then you would think that. You know, outside, like this would be kind of like the town environment, maybe. Like people would come here to uh, do, you know, have events and stuff. And then outside here would be some more houses and stuff. And uh, they would come in here to go practice their karate or such in here. And then they would worship over here. So it's kind of interesting how you have the defenders of the faith over there and you have the faith over here. So it works out pretty well. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to say to the plot. I mean, it's. He uh, just, we were just trying, he just wanted to throw this out pretty quick because he um, wanted me to do the, or no, I wanted to do the video on it and I was pushing him, just like, get plot done, goodness. And, uh, but yeah, I definitely want to support his channel, guys. Um, I do like the idea of uh, upcoming YouTubers and such. I mean, I'm an upcoming YouTuber myself. I mean, we're already to, what, 1,370 something now. Um, but yeah, it's it's just awesome. It's an it's just an awesome journey. The feeling is awesome, and uh, I definitely enjoy this whole uh, process of getting from uh, where I was to where I am now, and it's it's just really uplifting. And how the heck do we get into this little thing up here? That's that's what I've been trying to figure out the whole time that I've been flying around this thing. Is trying to figure out how to get up. And it looks like this is it right here. So we got a path here. And okay, so it connects over there. So you follow this path. It's kind of kind of wanky. It's kind of a little hard to see, but it doesn't matter. So you got yourselves a little wall up here. You got some weapons and some beds or some seats. Yeah, I think they're beds. And then you have some guards up here to uh, protect the little. Uh, I don't even know what this is called. Would this be called a hamlet? I think this would be called a hamlet. And it would protect the hamlet from the enemies. But one of these days, I will build an oriental style of sorts. It won't be like extreme, like it won't be like extreme realistic or whatever. I like to go out from the norm. And so I look forward to one day building something along the lines of um, Asian, oriental, something like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, I want to give another shout out to Okadama. Go check him out. Uh, check out his. Uh, the link to his channel below and go just see if it's something that you would like um, pop him some sub subscribes subscribe turn that gray subscribe button into a actually not red subscribe button into a gray subscribe duh, button and yes I did steal that from college humor Shame on me. But anyway, um, yeah, you, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And um, if you guys like this video, please like. If you guys want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook or Twitter and connect with me. Because uh, I definitely try to keep you guys updated. I send some pictures over there. And it's also a really good way of getting my name out there. So if you want to support me, um, you can like me on Facebook or Twitter. And when I post pictures, you can share them on your walls. And uh, hopefully you can get some more people to come join the fun. Well, guys, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.